now 30 years ago satellite dishes on the outside of homes were the sign of a new dawn of tv proudly displayed by the early adopters but could this soon be a thing of the past as broadcaster sky launches a new range of smart tvs which don't need a satellite dish or a set top box or anything zoe conway takes a look at what the future will hold for at home entertainment it was in 1989 that Rupert Murdoch and Alan Sugar introduced the world to the Sky satellite dish. As you can see, is is there, and a very small receiving unit is over there. And as you quite rightly mentioned, uh, it is our intention to offer this equipment at 199 pounds. We're planning to have over a million dishes by the end of 1989. 30 years later, and Sky's launches are a bit more slick. This is the only TV in the world with Sky inside, and all of your favorite apps, too. It works on Wi-Fi. No dish, no box, no fuss. This Ultra HD smart TV is an attempt by Sky to stop the company from losing customers to streaming services. I think it was definitely overdue that Sky had to sprinkle some magic on the outdated satellite dish. Streaming services have grown hugely in popularity over the last decade or so, and the ways that we consume content has become unrecognisable. And so for Sky to really introduce themselves into the, the market in a really meaningful way with Glass, bringing together their vast uh, library of original content with the leading streaming services in one place, that's super simple for consumers is a real step change in how they engage with the market today. Many of the dishes we saw in this part of London were no longer in use, like the four that live above the shop, which Ash runs. You've got a lot of dishes out there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I think there's obviously the condition of the dishes as well is just very dirty. Look, they've got a towel on one of them as well. <laughs> how do you feel about looking out at two satellite dishes? Well, they are an eyesore. I've got two satellites outside, and the problem is, is they don't take them down. They really should be scrapped. All they're good for is the bird landing on them. <laughs> the birds obviously land on them, and <laughs> just you can see them from the window. And what do the birds do on they're them? Just... <laughs> Sky may be trying to ditch the dish, but it seems likely they'll remain a feature of our landscape for many years to come. Zoe Conway, BBC News.